Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing Topic number 20, Lecture Discussion Joint Designs for Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing Objective to provide a basic understanding of the various types of pipe weld joints associated with the gas tungsten arc welding process. The gas tungsten arc process is normally used for welding pipe where high quality deposits are required, such as in the case of pressure or power piping. High pressure piping is normally found in thermal and nuclear power generating stations, refineries, chemical plants, shipyards, and other related facilities. Tubing is also used in these facilities in many applications. Although differences do occur, the joint design is similar for equivalent thicknesses of pipe and tube. The type of base metal has an effect on the joint design. Designs for steel pipe joints differ from those of aluminum pipe due to thermal conductivity, melting point, and other physical differences. We will confine our discussion here to the steels which have similar characteristics and make up the majority of pipe welding. Other factors which affect the joint design are the accessibility of the joint, the required strength, and the position of the joint. In most cases, the joint is only accessible from one side, thus restricting welding to one side. On large diameter pipe, welds are sometimes deposited on both sides of the joint. Strength is based on the amount of joint penetration. Pipe welding, especially in critical applications, requires complete penetration of the joint, and the joint must allow for full penetration. The gas tungsten arc process is capable of welding in all positions. Pipe joints may be located in the 5 or 6G positions, which simulate many or all of these positions. Consequently, pipe joint designs must be suited for welding in all positions. The joint designs for gas tungsten arc welding of pipe are especially affected by wall thickness. On thin wall thickness pipe, the edges of the joint are normally left unprepared, except for some grinding. Filing or cleaning may be required to remove contaminants from the weld area or to provide a consistent root face. The groove weld deposited in this type of joint is called a square groove weld. On pipe wall thicknesses of 1 16th inch and less, the edges may be fitted tight together to form a zero root opening. In some cases, filler metal is not used and the edges are fused together. That is, the edges of the joint are actually melted into one another to form the weld. As the pipe wall thickness becomes greater, up to approximately 1 8 inch, a slight root opening may be incorporated, allowing full penetration to the root of the joint. Root openings up to 1 8 inch are common. As the wall thicknesses increase above 1 8 inch, both edges of the joint are beveled. A single V-groove weld is produced in these joints. The addition of the bevels provides better accessibility to the root of the joint. The groove angle is normally 75 degrees, which is made by preparing each edge with a 37 and 1 half degree bevel. The root opening is normally 3 seconds inch, plus or minus 1 seconds inch, similar to the root openings used for a square groove weld joint. The root face is usually 1 16th inch, plus or minus 1 seconds inch, which allows better control of weld quality at the root when using the gas tungsten arc process. For wall thicknesses greater than 3 4 inch, a modified V groove is sometimes used. In order to reduce the volume of filler metal required, as well as the welding time, a bevel angle of 37 and 1 half degrees is produced on the joint edge up to 3 quarters of an inch. The remaining pipe wall 
is prepared with a 10 degree bevel angle. In some cases, a radius is placed on the edges of thicker members to be joined. This is commonly called a single U-groove weld. The U-groove provides better accessibility to the root while reducing the rate of filler metal consumption and welding time as compared to single V-grooves. The cost of preparation, however, is higher on these types of joints since the edges normally have to be prepared by machining. Joints like these are normally used in conjunction with a consumable insert. This is a filler metal which is tacked at the root of the joint and is completely fused into the root during welding, thus becoming part of the final weld deposit. Consumable inserts are used to assure complete, uniform joint penetration and root reinforcement. There are several types of consumable inserts. One of the most common is the A or EB type, which forms a ledge for both edges of the joint. The J insert is similar to the A, except that one side is flat and can allow for a certain amount of joint misalignment. Both the J and A inserts are available in coils, preformed rings with an overlap, or split butted to allow for variations of the inside diameter of the pipe. The K-type insert is produced by rolling wire into a flattened rectangular shape. It too is available in similar forms as the inserts already mentioned. The G insert, also known as the Grinnell ring, is similar to the K, except that it is flat on all four sides. The G insert is normally 1 16th inch wide and 3 16th inch deep. The Y insert is formed from welding wire and is available in coil form. Rings having a diameter up to 2 inches are not prepared with an overlap. Inserts over 2 inches in diameter are prepared with some extra diameter to allow for variations in the inside diameters of pipe. The overlap can be cut off with a saw or hand shears. Pipe joints prepared with a consumable insert are easier to weld since the manipulation of a filler metal rod is not required. When a K or G insert is used, the insert is sometimes allowed to extend above the root face in the flat portion of the pipe and below the root face in the overhead portion. This procedure compensates for sagging of the molten metal due to gravity. When a V-groove weld joint is used with a consumable insert, the root face is normally reduced to zero. When a land is used, it is sometimes extended a small amount from the beveled edge of the joint. By using the extended land, the groove angle can be reduced slightly while accessibility is increased because of the increased width at the root of the joint. When welding with automatic gas tungsten arc equipment, an extended land is commonly used with a zero root opening. In this manner, the root pass can be produced without the addition of filler metal. At times, it may be necessary to weld two pipe sections with different wall thicknesses. In this case, a specialized kind of joint called a transition joint is normally prepared. The thicker of the two members is machined down to match the thickness of the thinner member before reaching the joint edge. These are some of the more common types of joint designs for steels welded with a gas tungsten arc process. Usually, thinner materials or small diameter pipes and tubes are welded with the gas tungsten arc process alone. However, on larger wall thicknesses and larger diameter pipe, only the first and possibly the second passes are deposited with the gas tungsten arc process. The remaining passes are deposited with a higher deposition process, the most common being shielded metal arc welding. Other processes which could be used are the gas metal arc, flux cord arc, or submerged arc welding processes. 
the type of material, type of joint design, and the method of welding the joint depend on the welding procedure.